In this video, I'm going to give you something for free, which everybody else will charge you money for. But first, I need to teach you how to use it. This is going to be a video about making your own print on demand store. I will be, I'm going to be doing this as well, but I always give people my blueprints at the beginning. So you can also do it. Basically, I'm going to be using Printify and Shopify together. There are affiliate links for both of them. Shopify finally let me onto their affiliate program after two and a half years of asking. And yeah, you don't have to use WordPress. Uh, sorry, you don't have to use Shopify. You could use WordPress, whatever the hell you want. You don't have to use Printify. You can use any other. It really doesn't matter. So I actually completely forgot about this until I just checked right now. Printify also did offer me a sponsorship. I wasn't even, I, I, I forgot that, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's money for me. So yeah, I would personally recommend Printify. I've heard the best things from them. The way they work is really, really good as well. But if you want to use a different one, feel free to. I personally am going to be using Printify. I've used others in the past and I just didn't like them that much. Printify also has an API, which is absolutely essential to what I'm going to be showing you in this video. What I'm going to be showing you in this video is how you can take a CSV, okay, so a spreadsheet, and turn it into a kind of machine, okay? So this is only going to be part of the video because I haven't worked out how to do the part with Google Sheets yet, but... Julian Goldie does have a video on this. Um, so if you just go on YouTube and type in Julian Goldie Sheets, and it's one of these videos here, one of these two videos, you can watch them both. In this video, he shows you how to take like a focus keyword and turn it into different columns. But basically what you'll need is a focus keyword or just keyword, and then title, description, tags, image path, and um, I think that's it, image path. I'm not gonna be showing you necessarily how to make the CSV in this video, but this is how you would do it. You would say like, uh, I'm 20 today, for example, and it would be a um, t-shirt for a 20th birthday. And basically you would use uh, the add-on, so get add-on, it's one of these add-ons, ChatGPT for Google Sheets. And you basically would automatically fill in these three using ChatGPT, and then you would drag it down, and that's how you create your CSV, okay? For images, you can use Canva, you can use whatever the hell you want. Canva has recently uh, included automation as well, which is definitely worth taking a look at. Um, but yeah, image path basically just means exactly what it says, okay? So... Let's talk about the meat and bones of this video. The way it works is you are basically going to be uploading an absolutely crap ton of products, okay? Probably simple text-based designs. You can do images. It's really up to you what you do with this. And we're going to be automatically uploading them to Printify. So Printify specifically for me um, is the best option because it has an API, okay? And what I did for the last two days is I basically worked out a way to use the Printify API to automatically upload from a CSV to Printify. And then from Printify, you just connect to your Shopify store. That's all very, very simple stuff. So if I click on my store, what you can actually do is if you don't want to use um, Shopify directly, you can make a development store. Obviously, I shouldn't recommend this to you because I will not make as much money from affiliates. But if you don't want to pay for Shopify at first, you can make a Shopify partner account. And I don't, I don't think I can get affiliate money from this. But just to let you know, if you make a Shopify partner account, you can make a developer store. Okay, I'll actually show you this because I, I do have a developer store ready to go for this. So if I go on Income Stream Surfer and one of these basically is my development store. So really amazing t-shirts you can see right here. Uh, to make this, you just click add store, create development store, and then just fill in the information. And then after you will get this right here, which uh, was my, my Shopify link. So I'm gonna click login again, and I'm gonna try and grab that. There it is. 
So what you want is that link right there, reallyamazingtshirts.myshopify.com, okay? Then you wanna go on Printify, click on Add New Store, uh, Shopify, connect to Shopify, and then just put your uh, admin name right here. I don't think it needs my and then admin, okay. And then press Connect, and then you have already connected your store. It's that simple. Then we wanna to go to the Printify API, and we want to, Basically, we have to do something very quickly to get the store ID. These are all necessary pre-steps to doing what I'm gonna be showing you in this video. Trust me, guys, this video is gonna be well worth watching, so just uh, hang on tight. So you wanna go on developers.printify.com and then click Generate Token. This will take you to the API token generation. Click Generate, give it a random name, press Generate Token, and then save this token. I will be deleting all of my tokens at the end of this video. Please do not sit there and copy and paste this because it will be deleted by the end of this video. Once you have done that, then we have our curl request right here. So I'm gonna go on chat GPT. This might seem like complicated programming stuff, but it's really not. And I'm gonna say write this so I can copy and paste it directly into my terminal. So chat GPT 3.5 should be fine for this. I'm gonna press copy code open up a notepad and we need to get the code from before so this one right here and where it says printify token i think you actually have to get rid of the dollar sign i'm not 100 percent sure about that we'll find out in just one second if that's correct but i believe we're supposed to get rid of the uh, dollar sign press windows button again or whatever you're on if you're on a mac and type in run open up the command prompt Control v press enter this will bring up your store IDs. What we're looking for right here is the sales channel Shopify. So it's this one right here. It's 104-509-52. That is our store number. Now, what we wanna do, now that we have all that information, is I want you to go to the description and find the paste bin link and go to raw paste data and copy, you can press copy right here. Then open up Visual Studio Code, and we'll just do a whole new folder just so you can all see the process right here. So we'll go in my thing here, and we'll right click, and we'll press New Folder, Biggest Boy, I don't know why I always do that, and then press Open. Wait, press Open. I did it again, I always do this, Open Folder, right, where is Biggest Boy? Biggest boy. Okay, select folder. Do you want to save the changes? Don't save, whatever. Probably gonna regret that. Okay, so now right click here, press new file and say run.py, give it that name and then control V this information right here. Right here, it'll say your access token, okay? So it won't say this, it'll say your access token or something. And then here we'll say your shop ID, okay? But because I already have it, let's just not bother with that. And yeah, this is basically everything we need. There's just a couple of things missing. First of all, we need to right click here, new file, and we say product underscore information dot CSV, like that. And the other thing we need is an image, okay? Okay, so there will also be a link to a paste bin with an example um, uh, product CSV, okay, which is the thing that you can see right here. So this is the CSV, okay? If this was instead on Google Sheets, it would look pretty much the same as this. So if I do Control A and Control V, it doesn't actually do it. Let's do Control V again. Split text to columns, okay. So this is how the CSV is actually working. The only difference is the tags and the t-shirt, etc. So there might be a problem with this uh, because these tags right here um, aren't proper. Okay, so yeah, so it's, it's actually this one right here. So I'm gonna copy this again and do control V. The reason for that is because um, obviously with comma separated values, which is what CSV means, it's hard to have a column with multiple options, but the way that they do it is with um, quote marks like this. Okay, so we're gonna save this and then we're gonna add a random image. So I'll just search for PN, .png on my computer. 
we'll just upload anything. It really doesn't matter. So we'll just open file location here and we'll drag and drop this into here. And then we'll rename this hamish.png. Okay, the way this works is, first of all, we need to delete path to directory. The reason for that is because it's local directory. So you could basically fill this information in as follows. I'll show you an example. Let's say we want to do two t-shirts at the same time. So we do, instead of hamish.png, let's do one.png and then two.png like that. And we'll do the same here. So this is uh, that and this is that. Okay. My cool t-shirt two. Description, blah, blah, blah. It really doesn't matter. Tags, blah, blah, blah. This is how you fill in the information. Okay. And then afterwards you would do file. Uh, actually you could do, you could call it product underscore information like that. And then file, download, download as CSV. That will then put it into the format that you see right here. Another way you can do that is literally just filling in the information like this. And then just remembering that every single time you have to just change the information inside here. For now, we're just going to do one upload so I can show you how everything works, okay? But if you do want to add more columns, you can add more columns. So let's see if this is actually working. So what you want to do is you want to go terminal, new terminal, and you want to do Python or Python 3 if you're on a Mac, run.py. Hopefully this is going to work first time. Obviously it didn't. Okay, so the problem here looks like I don't have pandas on this computer. So I'm going to do pip install pandas and hope that that works. Yeah, so you will occasionally have to upload or download dependencies, all that kind of stuff. This is just kind of my knowledge of programming at this point. I know when the problem is related to not having a module. It is kind of obvious though, because it literally says... Um, no module named pandas so my computer just didn't have pandas on it which is why it didn't work so apparently it didn't work still because it cannot install pandas okay this time didn't change anything but apparently installed this time so we'll try python run.py and we'll see if this works oh okay the csv path was actually incorrect here so it needs to be product underscore information dot csv Press save again and we'll run .py one more time. Hopefully this time it will work. Okay, product one created successfully. What does that mean? Let's go and see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Printify, my store, and we will see on my Shopify tester store, there should be a brand new t-shirt. And yes, it has my amazing picture right here. So the way this works, just so you know, and so if you want to change any information, whatever it might be. For example, if you want a different color, you have to change this color right here, the ID, the variant. This is all stuff that you're going to have to work out on your own, okay? If you want it to be on the back instead of the front, you change this right here, okay? Everything you see in the code is changeable, okay? So if you want to increase the price, you can put 299 instead. And then if I run the Python script again, we'll see what the price is. So we'll open this one first and we'll see that the price is $19.99. So now that I've just increased the price, let's see how much it is now. This should work. It's $29.99. Okay, so if you wanna make it a bit more expensive, you can just add, a, um, add 1,000 to the number that's currently here. If you wanna change the print provider, you can change it right here, okay? So the way that we can see our print providers is if we go on catalog, for example, and let's go on t-shirts. Oh my God. Okay. We'll go on this one right here and you can see them here. These are the print providers. So this is number 29. Okay. So let's say I want to use monster digital instead, then I would put 29 here. Okay. Everything is changeable. You can do whatever you want. Okay. I will have another video on this, on how to do the CSV automation, okay? I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And I, I know it's possible with what I've just shown you in this video, it's completely possible. If you watch Julian's video, then he'll definitely help you out with that as well. 
But basically the way this works is you put a keyword here and then you use ChatGPT functions to generate a title, description and tags. And then you can just drag and drop the image path like this, I think. No, you can't. So you can literally just put hamish.png, okay? And then you could even do one, for example, let's say you're using Canva and you do one PNG, two PNG, three PNG, et cetera, okay? All you need to do after that is make sure that you then have in this directory right here, one, two, and three PNG. That's literally it, guys. I've just given you something that's so valuable for free as usual. Please subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you very, very soon with an update on how to automate this part of the process as well. But as I said before, Julian does have a video on that already. So if you want to just watch that video and not wait for mine, I completely understand. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. And yeah, I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.